Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tan Se Ao. I'm one of the uh, doctors from the Department of Vascular and Interventional Radiology in Singapore General Hospital. Hello, I'm Dr. Tu Chao Wei. I'm also from the Department of Vascular and Interventional Radiology here at Singapore General Hospital. Today, Tu Hao and I would like to introduce you your cryoablation. Now, what is cryoablation? Uh, first of all, the word ablation simply means the destruction of cells. And cryoablation means using extreme cold or ice to destroy cells. We normally use it in the context of trying to treat kidney tumors, some bone as well as soft tissue tumors. Maybe Zi Hao, you can go through with us for this patient with a renal tumor, how you as an interventional radiologist will treat this tumor uh, percutaneously from the skin. We are interventional radiologists and we do image guided uh, minimally invasive procedures. To start off, we would review the prior imaging of the patient, put the patient in position, take some scans of the patient to find out where we exactly we want to treat. And then uh, for this patient, uh, the patient is an uh, ablation of a kidney tumor. So the patient is placed prone with backside up as the kidneys are closer to the back of the body. Once we scan and we plan to wherever we want to target in the kidneys, we will place needles into where we want to target. And in this case, you can see this bright part over here. This is the other two needles that we have placed into the surrounding the kidneys. This is, these are the kidneys itself. And once we confirm on imaging that we are happy with the position, we will start to form the ice ball around the needle tip itself. And this can be seen as this dark area around it. Throughout the whole process, for kidney ablation, we do them under general anesthesia. And then we do zero imaging to monitor where the ice ball is. And then uh, once we're happy, we stop the process of freezing and take up the needle and the patient will be uh, reversed to from general anesthesia if there's a meat meat. So before we move on, perhaps Dr. Tu, we can talk about uh, what are the complications related to this procedure and what did the patient expect after that. So generally, cryoablation is quite a safe procedure. There are common complications that may happen, for example, bleeding, infection, as well as injury to other organs, and this you will need to discuss with your treating physician. Generally, most of these procedures, we will ask the patient to stay for one night in the hospital for uh, observation before they are discharged the next day. Also, Dr. Kuh, perhaps you can go through some other ways we use cryoablation other than treating tumors. Yeah. So for tumors like these, we aim to cure the patients and hence we need to put up an ice ball that are much bigger than the tumor for a complete ablation. However, in some other instances, for example, in advanced cancer where we are just treating for pain to kill either the tumor causing the pain or the nerves, we can use cryoablation just to kill a small portion of the patient's uh, disease area to bring about the benefit. Then we can also treat pain in areas outside the realm of cancer whereby we just use cryoablation to treat the nerve such that there is a, the stopping of the abnormal signaling into the nerve. As you can see, there are many applications to cryoablation. You can speak to your interventional radiologist if you feel that your condition can be well treated with cryoablation. I'm sure you can find the nearest uh, hospital who has interventional radiologists around you to talk to them and they will be more than happy to answer your questions.